Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel, your number one resource to help you grow in life and in faith. If you're new, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. I pray that you all are doing well. I pray that your family as well and that this video finds you in good spirits, okay? And so today I wanted to talk to you in regards to there will be no more delay. There will be no more delay. Another word for delay is postpone or to slow down, for something to be slowed down. And many of you have been in a season where it seems like things are just slowly progressing. You know, little by little, you're making progress, but it's very, it's slow, it's slow, okay? And God saying that that was intentional. He intentionally, intentionally slowed down time so that you can become the person who you need to be to lay hold of the blessings that he has prepared for you. There was an intentional postponement on the blessing so that you can become the person who you need to be to lay hold of what he has prepared. But now God is saying there is no more delay. You have all the ingredients that you need. You have all the ingredients that you need. You have a little self-confidence, some self-esteem. You have some identity some wisdom and he stirred that all up and he's shaping and mold, molding you to the person you need to become to lay hold of the blessing. The Bible tells us that God is like the potter and we are his clay. So there are certain things that we have to endure. There are certain things that we have to experience so that we can lay hold of the blessings and become the person who God has created us to become. But God is saying you have all the ingredients and no more delay. So I wanna read Revelation 10, five through 11. And it reads, then the angel I had seen standing on the sea and on the land, raised his right hand to heaven. And he swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created the heavens, and all that is in them, the earth and all that is in it, and the sea and all that is in it, and said, there will be no more delay. But in the days when the seventh angel is about to sound his trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished, just as he announced to his servants, the prophets. Then the voice that I heard from heaven spoke to me once more. Go take the scroll that lies open in the hands of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll. He said to me, take it, eat it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will be as sweet as honey. I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. It tastes as sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then I was told, you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. Okay. And so the angel of the Lord has spoken. There will be no more delay. There will be no more postponement. But in the days when the seventh angel is about to sound the trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished. So the mystery of God is going to be accomplished in your life. And so what is a mystery? Something that is difficult or impossible to understand or explain. So something that is difficult or impossible to understand or explain is going to be accomplished in your life. Because a lot of times we're going through things, we're going through seasons and experience, and we do not understand what's going on. It's like, Lord, what is going on? And your life does not look like what God has promised. But that is the mystery of God. That is the mystery of God. The Bible tells us that his ways are not 
our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. So just because how you thought it was going to be done one way, God said, no, I have a totally different direction. I have a totally different way of how he's going to bring this thing together. So the mystery of God, the promises of God will be accomplished in your life. The angel of the Lord has spoken and said, no more delay. No more delay. And then I want to go ahead and read the last verse again. Revelation 10, 11. And it says, then I was told you must prophesy again about many people, nations, languages, and kings. Okay. And so this was the angel of the Lord talking to the vessel saying, you must go and do it again. And I don't know if you're waiting on something or you, if you were doing something and you gave up, but God is saying, go and do it again. Go and do it again because this time there's not going to be a delay. That, that could be the stepping stone to what God is leading you to because you don't know the mysteries of God. All you can do is just be obedient in, in, in the season and the time that you're in right now. So God is saying, do it again. Do it again. There's going to be no more delay. No more slow progress. No more postponement. You have all the ingredients that you need to lay hold of the blessing, to lay hold of the promises that God has for you as, you, as he's ushering us into a new season and a new time. No more delay. Okay, so that's all I have for now. Also, if you have a story or testimony that you want to share of how you have overcame we would love to have you on Jordan's Journey Podcast. You can follow me on Instagram at all things Jordan. DM me there. And if you're interested, I'll send you the link so you can book your podcast session. Thank you to everyone who has purchased Jordan's Journey book. I hope you are blessed and encouraged by sharing, by the sharing of my testimony. God loves you so much, and so do I. Bye.